media mode. Covers your story. Your story will be covered from the ground up. All right, we're back for an all new show of Reunited. And it feels so good was a person. I'm glad that my next guest, uh, somebody that I shared the screen with in reality TV, we both have since left that, at least me for good, her maybe for now. And her man, new baby daddy, somebody that I be watching him on Snapchat when I'm trying to be all in the business, Nikki Murderers and Leangelo Ball. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> now, um, Okay, you know, do you know, first of all, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Thank you. you know, um, he's kept his glasses on only because he doesn't want us to catch any shade or side eye. And if I ask a question, I'm not supposed to ask. But they didn't tell me I can't ask any questions. So here we are. We also don't have any liquor because you're expecting a, a child. Yes. And unlike Krishan, you're not going to drink today. Um, I, I haven't drank my whole pregnancy. Not just today. <laughs> and you know what's so crazy? <laughs> I went to the, so we're going to talk about the, upcoming baby clearly there is three people here on the couch i went to the baby shower which i just told you privately i don't do baby showers but because i don't do baby showers weddings bar myth or bar mitzvahs i don't do weddings i don't do divorces i typically don't like to do anything that involves couples and people that are either happy or crying why is that because i don't like leaving my house i don't like doing <laughs> i like you know i'm at a point in my life where i want to be at the house but i did go because you invited me um but i'm glad you came of course of course did you tell him how um, your relationship got out. Do you remember? Oh, uh, no. You don't no, remember? She didn't tell me none. No. You didn't tell him? No. Okay. It's story time. So I'd be on Snapchat. Snapchat is, Snapchat, Snapchat. Snapchat is literally my creative outlet for being a thought. I only have Snapchat to be in other people's business or the shit that I don't want of my own business out. I went on your Snapchat one night and I saw you guys rolling around in the bed. Remember? And I DM'd you. Oh, when I took, when I posted that video of us kissing. Yeah, I know what he's oh, talking about. But. Yeah. Unless y'all got another video I don't know about. No, no, no. Okay. So I took that video <laughs> and we put it on Hollywood Unlocked and then boom, everybody started talking about this relationship. I didn't even know y'all were together. We kind of kept it private because you know how outside energy could affect relationships and it was like kind of new at the time. So we were kind of just trying to protect our relationship. Okay. So everybody that knows me knows me and Nikki. We have the history from Love & Hip Hop. That's where I started my uh, journey into the world of entertainment. I didn't know anything about reality TV. They put me in a scene as a friend to somebody who was an icon in the show at the time, knew everybody, had fought half the cast. Um, do you miss reality TV? No, not really. Why? I'm in a peaceful place in my life. I just don't, I don't miss like the drama. I don't miss putting like myself in situations I know in my real life I would never be in. I've kind of outgrown like certain things in my life. If it's not like bringing me happiness or like about my family or my money, I kind of really just, it's really not for me. Mm. When you were going through the whole journey with Love and Hip Hop though, cause I, I came in very green, not knowing that reality TV, at least at that type of show, wasn't always real, like stuff right. was staged or set up. When you went into the show, did you know it was real or did you learn fairly quickly how it all went down? I kind of learned fairly quickly too, because I prior to that, like I was in, I was going to USC while I was in Love and Hip Hop. So I really didn't, I was never like in entertainment or anything. So I really kind of didn't know until I actually was in it. And I'm like, oh, okay. like. This would really never happen. I'd never be sitting here with this person having a conversation about this. So I kind of caught on fairly quick. Did you ever watch Love and Hip Hop? No, I never seen an episode of it. Never. No. He doesn't need to. Thanks. Basically, he's just told us both <laughs> he's above us both. But that's fine. You know, I had never watched it really either. And what she just said, which was slight shade, I was sitting at tables with people I would really never talk to because there was you. You were in college. You were yeah. a student by day, all day. You had your businesses that you were doing. Your family has successful businesses. And then I had my business I was building. So when we got to set, we were like, how long do we have to be here? Exactly. When typically we're shooting with people who had a lot of time on their hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. You missed nothing, by the way. <laughs> That's good. Nothing. So, okay. So Nikki was in Love and Hip Hop. Uh, when I got to the show, I told Mona and producers, there was just a few people that I didn't want to shoot with. One of which was Hazel E., Hazel, you know we've since pieced it up, but I do have to bring this full circle. I was put in a scene with who I thought was my friend, and then it ended up in just like the craziest situation that the whole world saw, and then I became this messy person. I did not set that up. I the producers I was... set that up. Yeah. And then 
it just escalated the way it did. Yeah, but this is where I know like how I learned how reality TV is for people who are watching. They feel like we all just kind of show up to fight, but it's produced for conflict. Yeah, and combat, right? because I guess drama sells. Yeah. So they put you in situations that would make it more interesting. There were scenes where I would be in with Nikki where, and this was the craziest part, and if you ever do another reality show together, hopefully this is never a situation. We would show up and Nikki would be looking at me. We had just had lunch. Everything is great. And then she would <laughs> wink at me. And then the, the total chaos, total chaos would ensue. And I'm like, crazy. But you, you but at did, least I winked. You, you did. She did wink. Like, you ready? But not, I felt like you, you had um, developed the skill to be able to navigate through it where it became almost natural. Were you ever bored by doing reality TV? Bored? Um, or did you not, always look at it as like a marketing tool? Like, this is just a Kind of not necessarily bored, but like... Just kind of like, I felt like every, like, how could I say it? It was just kind of becoming redundant. Like the throwing drinks in people's faces, the fighting, the the cheating, the drama, all that stuff that they did. It was just kind of like, okay, what's next? And then I just kind of feel like at one point, like after my brother passed away, I just kind of like mentally checked out of the show completely. And so you and your family, okay, can I ask you a question? Whenever you roll up with your brothers, do people go, they're the boss? Yeah, for sure. See? Especially if we all together, too, it's going to bring a lot of attention. The Ball Brothers. So, when I first noticed you all, um, first of all, I met your, I met the world met your father first, because your yeah, father exactly. is a very public, very vocal, very take no sh very <laughs> say whatever he thinks person. <laughs> yeah. Has your family, because we've seen it play out on reality TV too, but th has your family, has your father always been that type of person? Yeah, always, since a baby. He was even a little more turned up than that, but since he got on camera, you know. He toned it down for the media and all that. But <laughs> Wait, he really, so he owned it. He for real. Wait, so what we've seen on TV is toned down? Yeah, that's toned down. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Me, Zoe, and Melo know what it is for sure. So, and so, yeah. so your dad, when you went up, when we first started, uh, you know, coming to know the family, yeah. he he was looked at as like a stage parent, somebody who's always there, making sure that the kids are taken care of, that that what they're what they deserve is something that they get um, protection. If somebody criticized you guys, he was at the forefront. Was that something that you and your brothers liked about him, or is that something you were already used to, or did you not like it? Oh no, we liked it because he wasn't like he ain't never been like overbearing or strict. He always was like. Y'all little niggas can make your own decisions or do whatever, but he would show us the right way first. He was like, you can do it like this, or you can do it like that. And he was like, it's up to y'all, for real. Mm -hmm. But me and my brothers was always, like, battling, so, you know, we took the competitive route. Straight so, basketball, for real. So now, I know you went to school, you went to college, and you went to college. Both of you have your parents who are extremely involved in your lives. What are So we know those connections, but w I never saw these two worlds coming together because I know us... And I know the strip club, your family owns strip clubs. And I know like your business and your family is all about your business, but we're all about having fun too. I don't know you guys because yeah. you guys are very private with yeah. your personal lives outside the reality show, which is all contrived production. Yeah, it's produced. But it's is this opposites attract or is it very similar? We just. I would say we're alike and but we're, we are kind of opposite in in the best way possible because i feel like he brings me my peace you know i feel like being in that like around the strip club life and just in living in in hollywood and all that stuff i feel like it's a lot of people who are opportunists or you know a lot of people who just kind of just they don't really have anything going on and when i met him it was like he changed my life for the better like that we don't have drama, we we don't we're not he, he's he has his life his basketball like he's focused he's not trying to go out to the strip club seven days a week and drink and party like so it was just like we, he leveled me out in the best way mm -hmm. and it's like you know I needed that. So I know that what I heard you guys met on a hike or that was your first date was a hike. That was where we met. You met on a hike. Yeah. So I've went hiking many times. I haven't met anybody on a hike. I've tried to hang out by the. <laughs> You know, the place on Running Canyon where the locks are on the fence. <laughs> I've actually brought locks to put it up there, taking my time. Ain't nobody walked by me on a hike. <laughs> Do you want to borrow my dog? Maybe you'll have No, I don't like to come out. Like, I don't even hike or none of that for real. I just came out there. I had my dog with me. I'm like, oh, look at this. Shit. So I just took him <laughs> over there. I was just going to let him get a little air for real because we've been driving for a minute. So I don't know. That happened weird like that. So you go to take your dog for a walk on the hiking trail and you run into Nikki on the hiking trail moment mm -hmm. 
Yes. Yeah. And then, so then, what makes you guys talk while you're hiking? Because I'm not the type of person that even wants to really talk while I'm working out because I look crazy. Well, I look cute. And my dogs were, my two Pomeranians were like trying to attack his two big dogs. So I was like, oh, shit. like, here we go. And then we just started talking, mm. exchange numbers. Okay, so we're going to get to the journey of talking and exchanging numbers to baby because mm -hmm. that's, that's a journey. So, how long ago did you guys meet? Like about like a year and a half. And so, how did you know from, did you know when you guys first met, either one of you, that this was going to be more than just meeting on hiking? Initially, I didn't think, like, I didn't know. I was like, okay, like, he probably just thinks I'm pretty. Like, you know, he might not try to, like, you know, I, we, we're eight years apart. So I was like, okay, he might just want to have fun. Like, I'm, like, trying to settle down. <laughs> I just got my real estate license. So I'm kind of, like, you know, focused on my real estate. And I was just, I'm not, I wasn't trying to just play around and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we ended up dating and then we kind of both were on the same page with everything mm. what about you what did you think when you met nikki Bay? did you know did you know who she was no nah, for real i was just you didn't even know so you don't first. watch love in hip-hop you're you're not really acting on I'm social media i'm not really into all that social media like i'm not on that like for real i really just hoop i'll be at the crib i'm like you i like staying at the house man. <laughs> i'll be with my dog my He's brothers like come you. pull up like i'll just be with a little silly little small group you know and then you so then you you get her number. Do you get her Instagram? Yeah, for sure. So then did you, did you, did then, you go? No, nah, I'm just going off for like straight look, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm not like, who is this for real? He never knew. But then when Ma started hanging out with her and stuff, like that's when we started clicking for real. Really? So I'm like, all right, you feel me? Did I you know who he back. was? No. Nope. That's crazy. This is why I need to be on Runyon Canyon because I will be there pointing out who everybody is. <laughs> you will. <laughs> Absolutely. You'll know their whole biography. Well, see, and I'm trying to get better at Googling people like I'll try to date now if I meet somebody which is rare but if I do I'll meet them I will go Google I'll do a criminal background check yeah, for sure. I'll do a probation check you know wow. cause I, yeah because you know nothing gets past you no, no, no I, I mean still, like, I'll do that too like, I'll check up. I'm not just gonna be like not knowing who somebody is for real well because but, me and you were both raised by white women like yeah. our mamas mamas white mamas and black mamas shout out to all the black mamas out there we know that y'all will beat our ass <laughs> we know y'all will beat our ass if we do something wrong but white mamas are gonna be looking peeking checking and background smarts. checking right oh, smarts. right okay so when you guys get to know each other you did you looked on our Instagram and on your Instagram it's pretty much your business and yeah. whatever um what was the next step after that from the hike? So did you pursue him? Did he pursue you? We were like, we were making plans. We went to the movies. Like we just started making plans, started hanging out. And then we never had separated since. You know, <laughs> Literally. You know why I'm really just surprised? Because I haven't known you to date a lot of people. Right. Because you don't or you haven't. But I, I, I know that locking somebody down in Hollywood is hard as especially in our industry right so that's why i'm trying to understand what was it that made you both especially you at 24 years old right 24 yeah. and so publicly known and you know definitely good looking you're beautiful what makes you at that time say this is something that's going to be forever because the baby's forever whether I said, or not. like the way like when i kept hanging out with her the stuff she was showing me for real i know everybody got an outside perception of her or something i'll be like oh she did this this and that i'm like to me, I ain't seen none of that shit. So it's like, when I see her, I'm just seeing the real her, for real. Mm. And she wake up every morning, cook breakfast for me, help me fold my clothes, all that good shit. You know? <laughs> I'm not looking at her like, oh, that's, she do that stuff for me, for real. I like, I like that. For yeah, me. we put her breakfast on Hollywood on lock. We're going to have to go back and find the receipt. Actually, I've Nikki, come did a you long like, She got way, way better. She make you? what we, I yes. like now. Cheese, egg, onions, a little bacon. <laughs> she Muslim and still make my bacon, for real. Yep. <laughs> no cap. I learned how to make it just Wait, for are him. you Muslim? Yeah, I am. And you're making bacon? For him. But don't that go against all the traditions Listen, of... Listen, I don't... Well, I, I don't eat it. Like I just make it for day. him. Well, you're supposed to honor your king if your king wants bacon. Yeah, my dad knows I make it for him, but as long as I don't eat it, he doesn't get mad at me. And I don't. You know what's crazy? When I went to Dubai, I'm just thinking about it. Every time I go to Dubai, I've made it a task to try to find bacon. They don't have bacon anywhere in Dubai. And when I ask them, they look at me really crazy because it's against yeah, the religion. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> so you've compromised your relationship with God for your man? No, don't push it. <laughs> don't push it. That's real. That's she's real. She's showing love, though, for real. Like, throughout the day, it's fun being around the first. So you stopped burning food. Because I, mean, I remember... The, 
the breakfast. Okay, the, the, that was a bad video. And yes, I stopped burning food. So if you come over, I'll make you breakfast and it's going to be amazing. I'm telling you, the presentation is <laughs> not the best, but it really tastes good. <laughs> I have dietary restrictions. I don't eat breakfast. Okay, but, well, then that's your problem. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now you're, so you're, you're, this is Nikki Baby. Do we still call you Nikki Baby? You can call me Nikki Medeiros. But are you not Nikki Baby anymore? I really don't call myself that no more, no. Okay, why? Why did you lose it? I'm just trying to rebrand. I feel like I've outgrown that persona. And then it's like, I'm a realtor now. And I feel like people are like, take me very serious mm -hmm. in my real estate business. So that's just what I go by now. Mm -hmm. No, you said that people had perceptions of who she was. Now, what were those perceptions? Because honestly, I don't, as much as people think I'm online every day, all day, kind of yeah. scouring to see what people are saying. No, I'm saying like, I, I don't. Oh, my bad. Yeah, go ahead. I'm saying if I do go online, like it's, I see stuff for sure. Like on my phone is crazy. Like all the DMs and everything, but it's not bad like that. Are the DMs hate DMs? People. It's trying. a lot. It's everything. Like it'll be some love, some hate, some crazy. Like you know, <laughs> that's how, anything. So for real. Wait, DMs crazy stuff from like girls or fans or fans. fans like really? all are kinds they of say, stuff. Are they gonna say something crazy like out of this world? Like I'm not supposed to say on camera. Anything. You really? can't say it on. You can say it on this show. On this show, no, I just don't. I don't even talk. Like what that are some of the things it's you've crazy. heard people say since you guys have gotten together? Like that, I've dated a bunch of people, which I d never knew I did. At least publicly, like I never did that. So that's why I'm like, where do people get all these ideas about me that mm -hmm. I really don't know? Mm -hmm. They'll try to tell me who I've slept with. They'll try to tell me that, like, I supposedly trapped him for a baby, which is not true, or that they think I. I'm a gold digger, which I have my own money. So it's just like a lot of things like that kind of don't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. And I don't waste my time arguing. Like I'm eight and a half months pregnant and I'm very sensitive and on, it's just like cyberbullying. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, I can't engage in that. I'm not that kind of person. Mm -hmm. But, the, but the, how do you rationalize the internet though? Because I mean, you both have had a level of fame for some time. I mean, people, you're in the business where people are going to talk about you. Right. They've talked about you. They've talked about you on a global scale. I mean, at what point do you just get resolved that the internet is the internet? It's a sad place where people are going, they feel free to say whatever they want and do whatever they want. But like, when do you stop digesting it? I mean, I kind of, I kind of try to, I, I'm not like on like the shade room and like on all those comments, that'll just drive me crazy. And it's like, it's not making me money or benefiting me. So what am I going to do? Argue with a million people every mm -hmm. single day. That's draining. Mm -hmm. What about you? Have you, you've never had a public relationship? Well, you know, you, you've had I've a couple of relationships, you've had a couple just, relationships, but I try not, not to let them get out at all for real. But they're not with people who are, because I remember the one girl you were with. I used to stalk you and your brother's Instagram. Let me just put it out there. I stalk all the Instagram. Wow. No, I mean, because. <laughs> the truth comes no, because, out. I'm just joking. No, I'm just saying, because when you guys first came out, it was almost like you guys came out of nowhere. And then it was like one brother, then two brothers, then three brothers, then the dad, then mom's over here, then the whole family, then reality show, then NBA, then, you know, I mean, you, you guys kind of just blew up everywhere. So we were all kind of glued to what you were doing. And each yeah. of you and your individual lives, I think at the time, Mello was very young when we first got to know all of you and then you were in a relationship. I can't remember the girl. She's really irrelevant at this point because I, <laughs> I don't remember her. But but you were, you were you but you've always me. kind of been like a relationship oriented guy, at least publicly on your social media. Is that? Yeah, I mean, I just did everything for real. Like I had relationships and being single. Mm. I don't know. I just don't try to like, like let anything get out of hand. I, I feel, feel like you and your brothers are all like relationship kind of guys. Which is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's how cool. it, like, you know, because that's how it is. I but mean, yeah. you know, if I could have one girl that I know I could trust and rock with, I'm going to go that route for sure, because I could have it the other way, too. But I, I don't like living like that for real. Mm. Where did you get that, though, from your parents? Probably my pops, most likely. I mean, he's been with my mom for, I don't know how long, probably like 30 years or something. So there's there's rumors that his dad doesn't support or get along with you, but I saw him at the baby shower and he seemed to be like that happy, proud father who's walking around everywhere. Um, I didn't speak to him because I'd be watching him online. I'm sorry, I just stayed out your way. Uh, but where did that come from? I don't know. It's just gossip. Like his dad, I get along great with his whole family and my family like loves and accepts him for, and they love and accept me. So I don't know. That's why I was like, where do these people come up with this my stuff? My pops love Nikki for real. Like. I took her to the crib. He, she had breakfast with us, all that. Like he talked now, to her and stuff. Now at the baby shower, I I saw somebody introduce your mom to his mom. Was that the first time they met in at person? The baby shower? Yeah, yeah, in, in person. person. Mm -hmm. Why didn't they meet before? 
my dad, he's um, a lot older. So my mom really like his, you know, his family's in Chino Hills. My family's here. So my mom never even been to Chino. So mm. she has a full responsibility. My dad's about to be 93 next mm. month. So she's just with him day and night kind of thing, taking care of him. And so it's just that the opportunity, they spoke, but the opportunity physically didn't present itself yet. So at the baby shower that I got to, I got there early. Nikki was a little late. There was a um, there was an issue getting her there, but we all waited for her. Um, there was no, there were no other cast members from any reality show that you've been involved with. Did you not invite anybody else? I kind of wanted to keep my baby shower more like private and intimate, mm -hmm. like more family people I talked to. You know, mm -hmm. it wasn't like a show. Yeah, no, it was great. Thank you. Um, and then your family was there, mom, dad, and your brothers, your brothers' yes. girlfriends. Um, you know, there was a moment during the, um, the baby shower where I was left alone uh, and I was standing by myself. And, you know, I always get awkward in places where I don't know people. <clears throat> but I looked over and I noticed the I noticed the very moment your brothers realized who I was. Um, and I and I don't know who told him at the table. Anna Montana, I think it was you. But either way, <laughs> I could feel I could <laughs> I could feel the energy changing. Do did they feel uncomfortable with me being there? Were they OK with me being there? No, I think they don't. They don't be like that. For they real. don't. I don't. No, nah, they real chill for real. Okay. Probably would have said, "What's up?" If you came up to them. <clears throat> yeah, no, I just left them alone. Yeah. They, <laughs> but hey, it was great seeing you guys at the baby yeah, shower. Yeah, they be chill. They ain't thinking like that for sure. So your relationships with your brothers. So I mean, uh, both of your brothers are now active in the NBA. You yeah. had a moment in the NBA. I'm on my way though. Just I, I had to take a little detour. Right oh, we there. gonna get into it. Sure. Oh, you know it's early. We, we got right, time. Right. You know. <laughs> Trust me, you know, it's Jason Lee, we got it. Yeah, okay. But your brothers um, are both uh, busy traveling a lot. And you guys see them as you were growing up to be very close. Are you guys still as close as you guys used to be? Yeah, for sure. Like, we're in the same state. I, I always see one of them, like, every other day for real. Mm -hmm. And Melo, when he come back, he stay in my house with me. So it'd be me, her, Anna, and Melo in there for real. Yeah, I was looking at... Um, when you got there, your brothers got to the baby shower before you did. And when you got there, you went over to the table and you were all just kind of there together. And I was thinking about, you know, I've lost a brother. She's lost a brother. Um, I have other brothers now. But I just thought about like the closest I have with my brothers. And to see you guys there is very rare to see just that camaraderie and that relationship. Um, oh, yeah. How did, was is that another is that another product of being raised by both your parents and instilled that in you? I think my dad instilled that in us at a young age, for sure. Cause he always told us like, he even said like, we used to walk to the park and stuff as little ass kids to run the hill or do whatever. And he will be like, don't two of y'all come back saying one of your brothers got snatched. He said, I don't want to see none of y'all niggas. Like he was like, all three y'all better be gone. Or all three better come back. He was like, that's how close I want y'all. Like he was like, don't be doing none of that weird shit. And we ain't never fought or nothing. So it's like. We for sure had a little Wait, you guys before. never got in a fight? No, I don't fight my brothers for real. But not even over competitive? I can't even hit them for real. Like, if I looked at one of my brothers, I can't throw a real hit. So which, <laughs> okay, but well, which one of them do you like the least? You, there has to be one of the brothers who you like, okay, I don't like this one does this. To, you, you like them both. Yeah, I rock with both. It's different ways, though. Like, it's so <laughs> different than Melo for sure. Mello more wild, like he like yeah. to get lit. Like, Mello was the one at the table telling everybody so who like, I was, trying to get them all riled up. I saw you. <laughs> Mello <laughs> like young. Sure? Mello like you, you and Anna. For sure. I saw him. <laughs> Shout out to Anna. Yeah, yeah, yeah Mello like Anna. action, and then Zoe more laid back, but Zoe cool too. He funny as hell, like when you know him and stuff. Because I feel like when Anna and Mello got together, their relationship got a lot of criticism. Because I remember yeah. we posted on Hollywood Unlocked, and people were they had a lot to say about it. Now you guys, do you think it's because of? people in the sports world being really invested in you, your family and athletics, yeah. <laughs> and then us on reality TV who were bosses and built brands that have made lots of money, you know, right. millions of dollars that we're not of the same <clears throat> level of prestige. I don't know. She has uh, everything for real. She don't ask me for nothing. So I don't know where that comes from. from Nikki was pulling up to Love and Hip Hop in the Bentleys. That's like, she came I mean, to my house in Lambos and Bentleys and I'm like, yeah, I ain't put into this. Yeah, I was, I was Ubering. <laughs> it's I was broke good. at the time. Yeah. So of course, so back to your mom's meeting. So um, now, what are the plans? Like, because I one thing I was sitting back looking. I was watching your family and friends. I was watching his family and friends, um, and trying to understand now the power or problem of bringing two families together. Because that's like blending people that don't know each other is always complicated. That's why I don't.
nobody. Mm-hmm. Like, how do you all, are you all talking about how to do that? Do the moms meet? Do they meet for coffee? Did the what happened? What, what do you do? Well, my mom, like, they got our whole family's got along great. Like, his dad was talking to my mom about business stuff, and then my mom was saying that you know she wants to hang out with his mom and, and grandparents. They were there, and so everyone got along great. It was I feel like when it's two families involved, like the egos and the pride, all that, whatever, it goes away. And it's like, this is like a magical, happy moment. Like we're having a son, you know, our families love us and support us. His parents have been together for a long time. My family's been together for a long time. So they understand like the importance of family and relationships mm-hmm. and stuff. Mm. Um, there were a couple girls at your uh, baby shower with BBLs and I got stuck on their asses. <laughs> I, I very rarely look at women's asses, y'all know I'm gay. But I was looking at the ads because there's been so much in the news about BBLs. I know we talked when you did my last show about um, uh, plastic surgery and all the stuff that mm-hmm. you've done. And you said at that time you were done. Yeah. You're still done. Yeah, I'm still done. And are, do you ever regret it? Because I know like Kay Michelle's taking stuff out, Cardi's taking stuff out or done things. Women later on in life say, I just regret it and, and, and take things uh, back. I, I kind you, of regret just like, I, I don't want to be as big everywhere, but I don't know if it's because I'm pregnant. I'm like really big everywhere. <laughs> like my but you ass. you great pregnant. Thank you. Because I've seen some not great looking pregnant people. Really? Yeah. Like we know that you're, you know, thick in the midsection because the baby's there. And I'm yeah. not shaming anybody. I mean, if you're just not an attractive pregnant person, it's not my fault. You have to talk to God, but <laughs> you look great. Like you look great there. You look great today. Thank you. Yeah. So you, so you're done. <clears throat> yeah, I'm done. Okay. Um, all right, so back to your mom. So your mom was there, I know, a few years ago. She had a stroke. Yeah. You guys went through that very publicly, the, you know, which I feel like there does need to be more sensitivity around people and their families when you're going through real But it was good seeing her there, and she looked healthy and she looked happy. Yeah, how she, did you handle that, um, and how did your brothers handle that, and how have you worked through it as a family? Uh, we just all, like, it brought us closer for real. Like, we was helping her, getting her whatever she needed. Like, you know, she came first at that moment. My dad always looked after my mom like like the most too, for real. So uh, even when it happened, he told us like, stay focused, don't be like, we're thinking like, oh, you gotta worry about your mama. Cause he was like, I'm gonna take care of this, this is my wife. So I got it, he was like, just stay focused on your hoops and stuff for real. So he ain't let us like fall down too much on it for real. But we are still like, we gotta take care of our moms if she need us. And we'll see her when we can and stuff. You know? mm-hmm. Are you a mama's boy? Are they mama boys? Are you, cause nah, you all I, are your dad's children. Yeah, for sure. My pops showed us how to hoop and all that stuff. So it's like, I don't know. I look at that a little different for real. So I don't know. I feel like if I didn't live with my pops, I wouldn't know how to hoop. I think I'm you're not equal about to get close out. to your mom and equal close I'm close to, your to both. Yeah, I love them both to death. Nikki. But I don't like be like, oh, I love this one better. Or no, yeah, yeah, facts. You're too nice. Like, I need you to hate one of your brothers. I need you to like one parent more than the other. I need, there's, no, are you always this measure? Because this is good, because I can see where the balance is, Yeah, right? he's where, very level-headed. Yeah. He keeps me calm. But isn't that annoying? No. I'm already, like. You don't ever start a fight with him, just, like, well, wake up no, and I calm her fight. down sometimes. She but I, not, I, not I be overwhelmed. I'll be like, I get really overwhelmed, like, and anxious, and he's not like that at all. Well, what do you, if you have money, you have the car, you have the education, you have the business, you have the man, now you have the baby, what are you anxious about? I don't know. I just get anxious. I don't know what it is. I think, I think this is what it is. I worry a lot being, cause like, I'm like, okay, like I lost my brother and like, I only have my mom and dad and my sister. So I just worry cause my dad's 93 and then like, God forbid something happened to him. I just worry about things I can't control. And then I'm like, oh my God, like, I don't want my mom to get sick cause that's all I have. I just, it's just, a, I don't know. It's a really bad thing. And I, my, my mind just like, it doesn't stop. I just worry. And it's not good. All the time. All the time. Like, it's just like, it's just worrisome having like an older parent is just like a hard thing like my dad got sick on the week of my baby shower and he wasn't able to make it and then like because of covid and things like it's just it's just hard people don't really understand it but now that you're but now that you're bringing a life into the world and i and as i looked at you at your baby shower pregnant i thought back to all the partying we did the drinking the out all nights and all that has this brought a different level of peace being sober yeah yeah absolutely in the house yeah, absolutely. I don't miss my old life at all. At all. Why didn't we do the baby shower at the strip club? No, come on now. <laughs> We're not doing that. <laughs> do you go to strip clubs? Uh, I have been before, but like, nah. It's He's not never my been thing a crazy like, I don't step to him all the time. <laughs> He's not like you, Jason. He doesn't like what to go out. What does that out. mean, not like me? I'm lit. He doesn't like to go out. My baby likes to stay home. 
Okay, so <laughs> my baby likes to stay on this. Okay, so <laughs> no, you funny. No, because she's like sounding all responsible. And shit. Like this is a different Nikki murderess. Murderess. It's murderess. No, it's not. The way we was murdering these streets is murderess. <laughs> Okay, uh, your mom was talking to me about opening a gay strip club in Vegas. Why is this her thing? She sounded like this is her legacy. If oh, I, she, she said, really if I can open a gay strip club. She was talking to me like I was a gay consultant. I don't know <laughs> she's not a gay strip club. But that's her thing now? She wants to do that? Well, my mom sees how the Abbey has so much business. Yeah. And um, she met the owner of the Abbey. David David, mm -hmm. yeah. And so my mom, she's really interested. She has a big property in Vegas. And... She was like, you know, there's already so much nightlife in Vegas. Like, let me do something different. And she was like, a gay club would be, I don't know if there's many gay clubs in Vegas. I don't live in Vegas. so I don't really know much about the. I'm sure there are a few, but she met with David and she wants to do something. So that's her next move, I guess. See, as he was talking about having his father in his life that encouraged him to play basketball, I was thinking if I would have had my father in my life, he, he they both are dead now and he wasn't active, whatever. But um, if I had my father in my life, if I would have played basketball and ended up in the NBA as a gay basketball player, I don't know how that would have played out, but that would have been good reality TV too. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. That's my own little... Hey, Kelly Obrey. Um, he's, not, he's not gay, but I'm in love with him. All right. Uh -huh. When you looked at the final, do you watch basketball now? Are you into, because I've never known you into sports. No, I really kind of don't. But now you have to be, like you're in the middle of it. You went from loving really, hip hop to loving basketball. No, not really. He doesn't really like watch basketball in my house that much. Or at, when we're at his house, he watches the playoffs, but like he doesn't watch it like 24 seven. But they are basketball. They're, they're basketball, the whole I love family. playing though, for real. Like. But you don't watch it. I don't even really be on the TV that much. Mm -hmm. I, I don't be watching. Okay, that. so okay, let's talk about the finals. Did you think that Denver was gonna make it all the way? Yeah, after the first couple of, like games I saw, I was like, yeah, they should get back quick. Mm. Like they look good for sure. Okay, but a lot of people were thinking that this was not a finals that people were worth watching because <laughs> Denver in the Heat for sure. Like it's too like. But why teams. were people saying that though? Because people not used to seeing like. The Denver, that was their first championship ever. Like they, ever. So they ain't really ain't seeing Denver there, but the Heat is like, they ain't been there so long either. So it was like, I think that's just not two main teams people would think would be in the final. Okay, so now that you, you're 24, you're 30 what? Two, relax. What? At 32. No, Janet Jackson's <laughs> out here 57, yeah. tonguing down a 23 year old, like 34 year old. Get your life, Janet. I'm not judging. I recently kissed somebody. I, the world doesn't want me to be in love. They don't want me to have this. You guys want me to be this lonely single thought running from club to club, <laughs> and I will be. But, but my point is, I kissed somebody last week, and it went viral. A million views on a video of me you kissing did? somebody. I didn't yeah. See it. Uh, don't look for it. <laughs> I'm 45, he's 30. They made it a big thing. Have people said anything about the age difference? Yeah. Really? Like, yeah. They always like, oh, she's too old for him and blah, blah, blah. I personally too like. Too old at 32? I don't know. I feel like I feel like everything in life is like God's timing. Because I'm like, if he met me in my 20s, like, first of all, I was a freaking disaster. <laughs> and second of all, it's like I wasn't ready. I wasn't mature enough yet to be in a stable relationship. So I wasn't. So that's why I'm like, I feel like everything happened at the right time. You know, like, okay, we're eight years apart. What's the big deal? But were you a disaster, though? I wasn't I mean, really a disaster. I was single. I was just, I was just like, I but was you in were, entertainment but business. Let's slow down. This is where I, I, ha I think we have to be fair to ourselves, right? Because I think oftentimes, like, I'll even say, I'm a mess, I'm messy. And I have been messy. I've had to do things that are messy because some of y'all out there doing I have a job to do. So I'm like the janitor of the internet. Um, at least that's how I see myself. Don't you feel like a lot of what people have said about you or said about me or maybe have said about you are things they may have seen moments on a TV show or yeah. moments on social media and then now they want to like cast this broad net to say that's who you are? Yeah, absolutely. Like they think I dated all these people on, and I really didn't even like on Love and Hip Hop. Like I never really dated any of those people like right. that. So it's kind of like, like, okay. Or, you know, it's just like so many things that people think and they really don't know. Like, hmm. what about you? Because you are so private, so you're not on social media. And this is why I've been asking a lot of questions, trying to know more about you, because uh, I don't know if you know much about me, and that's probably a good thing. I like to make other people's business my business. Of course, I know you have been writing about you for a while. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the reason why I've been asking so many questions, just trying to pick and pull at what you like, what you don't like, who you don't like, is because I think oftentimes the world may have an image of somebody and not really, it's not fair. I've been a victim of it, you've been a victim of it, and I know you have.
Um, there was a situation you had a while ago with the whole China thing. And the only reason I bring this up is to ask you this question. When you look at what you went through in a very public way for something that, in my opinion, was extremely minor, but then you look at something like uh, uh, Jake Paul and Logan Paul, who goes over to a, a country where the people commit suicide, hang themselves, die, does a video, goes viral, gets blackballed, then turns that into a brand where folks then make them the WWE champion. Doesn't that just scream racism to you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where you was going with that, but nah, I mean, I, I, shit, I don't know, bro. Like, I live, I mean, Hold on, let me think about this one for sure. Because no, everybody's touchy on the subject when I say, like, anything about it. So it's like... But but like I'm gonna let, while you think about it, because this is my thoughts and I own my thoughts and they're all mine. He didn't tell me what to say and nobody can control what I say. I look at the fact that you were raised by a mother and a father. No, nah, let me say this. Like, I knew that it was wrong. Like, if I go back, I would never do that again for sure. Like, I knew it was wrong when I was doing it. Even when I was leaving, I'm like, it's wrong. But I, was, I knew I was going to get in trouble. It was too late. But I like, I owned up to it. And what people don't know today, they be like, oh, they be making jokes like, oh, he can't go to China, like all this. I really, lo I love China for real. Like my bad, my dad, best friend, uh, Joe is Chinese. He be going over there and like, he'll, like, we gonna go over there soon. So it's like, maybe. So it's like, I love China for real. Yeah. I don't know why everybody be like, he, yeah, they show too, love back so too. For like, real. I'm, I'm not like, bringing, I'm not, let me be very clear. I don't why have I'm, no bad blood. With no, me. let me be clear why I'm bringing it up because I'm not one of those people that wants to add to the avalanche of what I felt was around the whole situation. Yeah. I feel like you were, you, you're somebody, you're a black man. I don't care how light skinned he is, how light skinned we are. We're black men. You're a black man who was raised by a black father, by a mother who loved you. Yeah. You were raised with class. You clearly have self-respect and you and you have a demeanor about you that seems to be very uh pulled together way more than i was at 24. i was a hot ass mess and so you make a mistake and then i feel like mainstream media really tried to make this a thing that would follow you for the rest of your life <laughs> when yeah, you I'll were a kid be hearing little things here and there but but, when like you, but the re reason i bring it up is because then you see somebody like a logan paul i'm very big on anti-cancel culture and the disparate treatment of that to black people versus white people. You, you see someone it's like- It's crazy, I see a lot of that stuff like that you're talking about. Like, but to be real, like, I don't even know what Logan Paul really did. Mm. Honestly, I don't, I don't <laughs> know. Like, Y'all talking right now, like, I really don't <laughs> know. But I mean, it was probably crazy, but I'm saying like, I don't know, I don't get into that. Cause I wake up, I live good every day for real. Mm. The people I'm around show love. I don't never have no problems like in person. So mm. I'm not gonna be sad from what I've seen online. Everybody talking crazy. Like when I meet them in person, everybody cool. Mm -hmm. Like I don't really have no trouble like that. Mm. So it's like you're, you're a lot nicer sense. about the whole situation. No, I just feel like we as black men are not the sum of one mistake or one error in our lives. Sure. Just like we on reality TV can't be summed up by one episode or one scene or one yeah. clip. I know for me, they the scene that she put me in and said that me I did at, not put in it. <laughs> the scene lying. that Mona Scott Young that you put me in with her and that other person. <laughs> That thing has literally followed me for eight years. Where I can be at the White House with the president, I could be in Dubai. Say you a drink they always bring up the drink, you know. And I just feel like, as black men, as people, people in general, we need to be given the ability to move on and move grow on. past yeah, situations, absolutely. right? Mm -hmm. I agree. So now that you're you you um, you were in the NBA for a little bit. What happened with that? Like you know, I be working out for it, but then I, I stayed in the G League for like two years. Right. You know, it just didn't work out for real. So I'm probably go overseas when I heal my ankle. Mm. And then so what is that process that. like? So do you all do? A, do you guys go to a? I, I'm I'm the gayest person you're ever gonna meet. Do you go to a, a court? And there's a bunch of people there watching you from different teams and then pick who they want in the G League or nah, like you could get a workout with a team if your agent set it up or something like I'll go work out for a team. Or in this case I was um uh, I went up back to Charlotte with Melo. Like nobody told me anything. I just was playing up there all summer, working out and they're like, Oh yeah, he tough so we got thrown on the G League. But then um uh, yeah. I just didn't play as much as I would have liked for sure, so mm -hmm. I had to get up out of there. How'd you hurt your ankle? My ankle been been messed up for real. I just fixed it like the right way recently. He just had his so, ankle surgery. Yeah, I just had my recent ankle surgery. But when do you I rub his, this one, like, do you rub his like, feet? Because I have this thing where I hate feet. But if your man who you're burning breakfast for has a hurt foot, do you rub it? 
Yeah, yeah, of course. She would, but I don't make but her get out. But he doesn't want to. Place. But I, I was his nurse when he had his ankle surgery, and I was pregnant. Do you guys have pregnant sex? What do you think? <laughs> like, Why nah, is so quiet? Y'all know I had to get all the other stuff out of the way. What do you think? You think we're not having sex for nine months? Well, this is why in our community we don't have this problem because um, we don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. But I, if I was in a situation where I was pregnant, I mean, your mouth still got to work. Some. We got to do some. Like. <laughs> All right. So what are what do you guys fight over? We don't really fight that much. I know you will be like, oh, my God, there's a perfect relationship, but we really don't fight. At all. No, like. But that but that's unfair to him because he's so, I don't want, for the lack of a better word, mellow. <laughs> you don't get mad about anything? We nah, kind of like. I don't get mad for real. Like, she don't do nothing that's crazy. Like, she don't I don't do mad. anything. We communicate good. Like, you know, we, we don't disrespect each other. We don't like curse at each other. We kind of like, we're on the same page with everything. Like, mm -hmm. with our schedules, with our life, what we want to do, this and that. Like, we get along great. So you've had this, the, you've had the success in the with the strip club business with the family. You have your career. You have your education. Um, yeah, you know. and to clarify, like people don't really like know me. Like they don't know I went to USC. I have two degrees in business communication. Like then you know I did reality TV after that. Then you know I made new by Nike in my lingerie business. I made over millions of dollars doing that. And my family owns a lot of properties and strip clubs and then I got my real estate license and I have a lot of businesses and I'm very successful and I'm very smart so I just it irritates me when people really try to put me down like what does she have to offer like no what do you have to offer because I know what I have to offer so let's be clear mm. or oh you know she she trapped him for a bag but like nobody trapped anyone like we wanted to have a child together we knew our son's name three months before I got pregnant Did you planned the pregnancy I mean, we weren't careful about it, but like we talked about like, oh, wanting kids together. Like, like I told you, like we, we knew our son's name three months before I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. So when it happened, it was like, we already knew like, okay, this is what, you know, mm -hmm. what we're gonna do. Like we planned, like I told him like, okay, God willing, one day we'll get married. Like we both wanted stability. Like we grew up with both of our parents and, you know, so like we want that together. And we talked about all that. So have you, you guys have talked marriage? Yeah. Do you not work? now at this moment, but, but yeah, I mean, you, have you all, I mean, when you start, I would think building a family or when you're this close and intimate, you all live together. Yeah. I'm assuming. OK, so when you're planning it out, are you talking about the future? Like, do you want to get married? I mean, I'm sure your parents are married. Your parents are married. So is that natural, like a natural expectation that there's a wedding coming? Yeah. Not like soon, but, not like, soon, but yeah, for sure. Like, I'll, probably, I'll get married for sure later on. But I'm not like itching to get married. Mm. I already told her she know that. Mm. In a couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> three. Look, y'all, you want to think Three years. years. We yeah. talked about it. Y'all go ahead and talk about it right now. Two, three. Wait. No, yeah. no I don't know yet for real, but yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. it's probably not. Well, because, I mean, 24, is is that a different place than 32? Yeah, for sure. You know, and but you don't seem like the type that needs to live out a wild fantasy, right? Like, no, you don't need to do any wild you're not like me at 24 trying to figure everything out. Okay. So if you do get married and he gets married at 24, 26, 28, whatever. No, I, as long as it, I know it's going to happen, I'm, I'm very patient because, yeah. you know, 24 is young. So yeah. it's fine. Like as long as if he was like, no, I never see that happening. And then I would be like, okay, that's, you know, but we talked about it, but he wants to get married. Just not right now. Yeah. I respect that. But, but I always think like if I was to get married or do a commitment ceremony to one or two guys, I just feel like there has to be hall pass. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you can judge, you can judge me. I, it's nah, all good. Nah, I thought nah, you said one or two. I didn't say like, one. Oh, I didn't stutter. <laughs> Everybody in this room know how I, I <laughs> one or two. I literally have so many rooms in my house. One could wow. live downstairs. One could live upstairs. Because I got to live by myself, you know, in terms of sleeping, whatever. Because now, would you, if you were to get married, and I'm asking him if I could ask him this question. Mm -hmm. Would you want hall passes quarterly? Would you want an annual hall pass? Is of course you have to ask that. Yeah, you're, because you're still Jason Lee. No, because I'm still <laughs> wondering. Like, I'm, I'm, no, because like if you guys were like, I'm so happy that you're having a baby, and I'm happy that you're happy because you know I love you. And, but I, but the whole fear of marriage for me is just like total imprisonment, and that's maybe that's because I never saw um, my parents were never married. You guys have both seen more productive situations. Would you want a hall pass? Yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't do you like that. But no, nah, I've seen it be done. Yeah, you know, like, it's cool. 
He trying to get us cracking on he here. He has huh? everything he needs right here, okay? Thanks. Clearly. No. I'm not trying to get y'all cracking, though. I'm, I, I don't want you fighting in the car. I'm just giving. No, I'm just, just fighting in the car. I'm just asking. Okay, okay well, this is the point of the, uh, the show where I, I try to give gifts. Because okay. I'm, I'm a gift-giving person. Now, we do have the um, Mandingo Hall of Fame, but you don't release nudes, so we can't give that to you, unfortunately. Um, but we do have gifts on the other side of the chair right there and right here, Nikki. Oh, no, they're both over there. You have to reach them. Yes. Oh. You want no gifts for me? Yes, for both of you. Open, oh. Go ahead, open it. Can't forget me. Oh, God, baby. What? I don't know. Let's see some other <laughs> go ahead, stuff. open it. It's we have shirt? to start thinking of how we open the gifts when women have nails. A baby shirt. Aw, so cute. So we, we have a Jason Lee show, baby. Wow. Is that a onesie? A onesie. Okay. <laughs> wow, Jason. Be, really? No, because at, they sent me this thing when you go to a baby shower where you just go down to Amazon and so click cute. all the things you want, but I have to send other gifts. It's okay, this you can take cute. that. And now we have zebra print, as you can see. <laughs> we have zebra print, so we have a zebra print onesie, but keep going. Um, Jason, you shouldn't have. You yeah, know, we want to make sure that you guys have onesies too, so y'all oh, look wow. like our set. Um, <laughs> so we're mad. Wow, you want me an XL? I don't know the size. You think can, I'm that big? This is yours then. I, I have, a, I have a, a tailor. We can Same figure it job. out. <laughs> you don't have to put them on right now. Okay, but then we also got another gift because I know that you all are having a baby boy. We got you a, um, a cake. But this is a diaper cake. Oh, I was going to say, this doesn't no, look. <laughs> because kids are sh and and I really feel like I want to make sure that y'all have enough diapers. Thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. All right, what kind of diapers are these? I don't know. I, did, I just paid for it. But they also are zebra print, too. Do you like zebras? Well, I'm black and white. Oh. Black and white? Mm, I, I don't see. know. No, but, but anyway, um, so this I got it in blue because you're having a boy. Now, you came up with the name. What's the name? Lavello Anthony Ball. Now, when I walked into your baby shower and I seen Lavello everywhere, I thought that was the sponsor for the baby shower. I didn't know <laughs> what Lavello was. Who named the baby and how did y'all come up with that? He named the baby. Yeah, I gave him his first name. I don't know. I was just thinking the names for real. That sounded good to me. He's like Jello, Lavello. Mello, I'm and Velo. I'm gonna call him Velo for short too, and it sounds close to mine and my brother's name. Velo, Mello, Jello. Yeah. Velo, Mello, Jello. <laughs> I'll start with an L, too, for real. So the middle name, it's a boy. Jason, I thought was a good middle name. Um, <laughs> he said Jason. No? And no. Nah, okay. Anthony gonna, Anthony's for the Jason. after my brother. Okay, well, mm -hmm. that's a better choice. <clears throat> All right, um, how many more kids do you guys want to have? Like three. Back so to back? Four. Mm -hmm. Back to back? Yeah. I need like three sons and a daughter. Yeah, he wants like specific, four. But like what that. if you get one son and three daughters? <laughs> I don't think I'll work like that. For His dad thinks we're going to have three boys and then two twin daughters. And he's like, sure of it. But why not three girls? You can put them in the WNBA. You can be the coach. <laughs> Fuck that, girls, yeah. I don't think I'm making them hoop for real. Like, Kobe. They, Kobe was. If they wanted to, I'll show them. Kobe them. was girl dad. That know. might that might that might actually be a whole new line oh, of. Like, I already knew I was going to have a son for real, even before we had talked about this. I said, I'm always just feel like I have, make sons for it. I watched this. Um, I was online watching this streamer, and he was having his baby reveal with his girl, and they were being so loving with one another, and they were all on each other. And then he popped the thing, and it was pink, and he just walked away from oh, her, I, and it was so, so bad. So if you have a girl, would it? Oh, no, I'm not like you're that, gonna, though. You're, I'm, I'm cool with it. Okay. I just prefer to have a son. Do you guys have sisters at all? No. So it's just all boys? Yeah, all boys. My mom the only female in the house. Okay, listen, let's get to the games. All right, well, this is the fun part here at the Jason Lee Show. You know, this is cappuccino out here, but now we got to get into the tea. These games at uh, the Jason Lee Show are fun, but they can get a little messy. This is a game called Name Drop. Now, this is a, sh this is a game where I'm going to put uh, somebody's face up here. It could be somebody you know, somebody you don't know, and you have to say the first thing that comes to mind. So, uh, Leangelo, you can't put a lot of thought into this. You just need to say what you think Nikki's saying with you. Okay, cool. The first, first, <laughs> the first face. LeBron James. I don't basketball know. I player? just thought basketball for real just now. Not the GOAT, not Go Yeah, that, like growing up, that was one of my favorite players watching. Okay, so they On say Cleveland, 
But he's saying he may retire this year. Do you think he's, it's time for him to go? No, I think he's going to play with his son. I think he's just talking for real. Mm. And then he can go. Yeah, then. Yeah. LeBron, I still want to know. He done did you, enough damage for sure. He got all the records. Well, LeBron, as I'm aging, I want to know how you got that new head of hair. Because I'm almost to the point where I need to go wherever you went, but you look great. Congratulations. <laughs> all right, the next person Mona Scott Young. Mona Scott. Um, Producer, owner of the Love and Hip Hop and other shows. Boss. Yeah. Do you think that Mona gets unfair criticism for creating, quote, Ratchet TV when Zeus Network is out here? Having yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Zeus takes it to another level of Ratchet. We could have never did that. No, we could have Right? Never. <laughs> no. <laughs> like. That is pushing it. Beyond. Okay, we love you, Mona. Okay, the next person. John Morant. I don't even know if you know who this is. <laughs> he knows. Yeah, I don't know. Memphis, I thought of a gun. I ain't going to lie. But <laughs> that's just because of the recent stuff i seen. But that, oh, he I cool heard about that, show. too. I like he, how you. He said he had a toy gun in the car. No, I respect it. I mean, you can't throw your business out like that. I, See, everybody <laughs> needs a friend like uh, Jello, like Leangelo because he foolish. Like he, he foolish. He, not, he just gave you your whole. You're so supportive of everybody. I, I don't have no problems with these dudes. I don't know. I just see. <laughs> I don't even like grizzly bears no more because of you, Josh, so I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> the next person, Tina. Oh, look at you. So yeah, that's cute. my rock, for real. I don't know. She just held us down when we was little. Aww. I love my mom, for real. Like, I don't know. So cute. That's what I think of when I see that flick. See, when I look at Melo, that's how he was looking at me at the baby shower when he was telling everybody <laughs> who I was. You know, yeah. his little badass. Yeah, Melo don't know. He ain't even thinking that. You know what? I will say... Um, Melo is a really good dresser. He yeah, has he some really some good fits. style. Yeah. Put some money into it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the next person. All the brothers and the father. What is your, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Me? Yeah. I think his dad did, a, and, and his mom too, did a great job raising them. Like all level-headed, good kids, boys, men, whatever. They all have a good career. You know, like I respect that. It's hard raising kids now, especially like three boys. My mom always says well, listen, now you guys have blended both families. Um, I still think the baby shower should have been at a strip club. Mm. Um, when, you get, when, <laughs> when, when you get married, if the wedding happens, are it's you going to happen? When it happens, mm -hmm. are you going to do a, a, a bachelor party at a strip club? Like, do you, you don't even seem like the type. I don't gonna, know where to be at. I'll probably go step somewhere, but I don't know if like all that. Right Nikki, now. you need to throw the, you need to throw the, um, what do you call that? Bachelor party? No, I don't want to. Why? He, he can do that himself. If he wants to just stay home, he can do it. <laughs> stay home. That's don't fine. stay home. She loves that one. <laughs> That's let, fine. Just stay home. Let, let, <laughs> stay home. let her yeah. friend Pierre. Even if I go out, I ain't going to be nothing crazy. I'm just going to stay somewhere. Let her friend Pierre throw your, your How uh, about bachelor nobody party? throws him a bachelor party and he just doesn't have one? He needs to you have a bachelor, a lot of bachelor no, party. No. That's what I'm saying. He's not like that. How can you say he's not like that when he deserves to have that experience? He does deserve it, let but me, let I, him throw let his Let me own. throw the bachelor No, part. you don't need to be included either. <laughs> we can go to Girl Collection. Floyd can sponsor it. No, thanks. <laughs> you can okay. just... Yeah. Well, uh, listen, I wish you guys the best of luck. Um, I do pray that you have a girl next. Uh, I would love to see you as a Man, girl dad. I think the WNBA like needs the future. Maybe You're, last. Let me get the brother next, dog. Yeah. So you can say, go play with your brother. Yeah. That's the only reason why I would have two kids. Congratulations. Thank I'm glad you. that you're happy and good luck. Thank you. Thanks. You'll meet Appreciate the baby it. too when he's born. I'll send a gift. You don't want to meet him? I'm not good with kids because they at cry. At least you know that. Okay. Yeah, no, I know. Okay, I know. Right. Yeah. Like, I know. Like when I see white people at the mall with their kids off leashes, I get really uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. Put that thing in a harness. <laughs> off leashes. Bye. <laughs>